Hello, welcome to my channel. In this episode, let's talk about the African violet care and in particular about the African violet suckers. What are the suckers on African violets and should we remove them? African violet suckers are little secondary crowns or baby plants that grow from the stem of the main African violet rosette. Here is, for example, a sucker growing on the stem of a single crown semi-miniature variety called Max Shangri-La Serendipity. This is the main rosette and this is the center of the main rosette. And here we see another tiny little rosette forming and it's growing from the main stem. Here is a micro miniature variety called Rob's Waskali Rabbit with multiple suckers growing around the main stem. So what's going to happen if I let the sucker grow on the single crown rosette. Most likely it will compromise the symmetry and the blooming quality of the main crown. And here is a good example how the main crown has started leaning sidewise because of the sucker growing and pushing the main crown to the side. And I intentionally let this sucker grow a little larger so I can make this video and I can use it as an example. Here is another small sucker growing on the other side. Suckers need energy to grow and they deprive the main plant of that additional energy that the main plant needs for healthy growth. Single crown hybrids are known to bloom best when suckers are removed as well. Unlike the single crown hybrids, trailers grow with multiple crowns. Here's, for example, a semi-miniature trailer called Sanx Arctic Fox Sport. It used to grow in the bubble, so those of you who saw the African Violet Bubble Garden videos on my channel met this little guy, and it had outgrown the bubble eventually, and so now it's growing separately, and it's adjusting nicely. At this point, this trailer has three crowns. This is the largest crown, and then there are two smaller crowns here. One, and here's another one. And I hope it's going to grow a couple more crowns, because trailers grow in multiple crowns. And here is another African Violet Trailer variety called Ellie Gardner. It's a standard African Violet Trailer that just started to bloom. And from the first glance we might mistake it for a single crown variety because what we see here is a large main crown that has started blooming recently and it's a beautiful variegated trailer variety but then if we look closer we can see the smaller suckers or the secondary crowns starting to shape from the main stem right here and so if we didn't know that this was a trailer variety, we would assume that we need to remove those suckers. But because the description states that this is a trailer, we know that we 
want to keep those secondary crowns grow because trailers are supposed to grow in multiple crowns. African violet trailers bloom well with multiple crowns. Sometimes though we need to groom our trailers as well to promote blooming. Here is a miniature trailer called Opera Dock and it's a mother plant that I received from Violet Barn last year and so far it only bloomed once and very very um, little last year and I groomed it a couple of times but it still hasn't bloomed for me but it keeps growing the multiple secondary crowns and at this point it is just growing wild and I just let it be because I just enjoy the foliage on this trailer. And here is a baby of this Opera Dog Mama plant and it started blooming after I separated a little branch from the mother plant and potted it up separately in its own little house. And it just recently started to bloom and I'm very excited about it. Who decides if an African violet is supposed to grow as a single crown or as a trailer? It is the hybridizer's choice whether their hybrid will be considered a single rosette variety or a trailer. So the main thing for us as growers is to know our African violets and their descriptions. Are they single crown varieties or are they trailers? The sure way to know it is from the official description of the variety. Trailers usually have the word trailer in the description and single crown hybrids just state their size, whether they are miniature, semi-miniature, standard or a large variety. Here, for example, is a description of a single crown variety, Rob's Waskali Wabbit. And here is a description of a trailer called Ellie Gardner. If our plant belongs to the single crown varieties, we remove the suckers. And if it is a trailer, we keep them unless it grows totally out of control and it grows so many suckers that it just stops blooming altogether. And then we groom the trailer to remove the extra suckers or sometimes even to pot a baby separately to promote blooming. To remove the suckers from the single crown varieties, there are different tools available. I plan on buying a tool called Sucker Plucker. I just found it on Amazon and I was very excited to see that it was available. But in the meantime, I just use uh, this little wooden stick that came in a manicure set and I will show you uh, the Shangri-La Serendipity because it's a um, larger, it's a semi-miniature variety. The Micro Mini is too small but I will be removing the suckers from this one as well eventually. So let's see how we can remove the sucker from this semi-miniature variety. So we need to find the, the base or the foundation from which uh, the sucker grows and then sometimes even just grabbing by the leaves and pulling like this uh, can help 
but I don't want to take a risk because this is a rare variety and I want to rescue the sucker and plant it separately to propagate more plants of this variety. So let me put it up a little higher so you can see what I'm doing. And so I will use both ends of this wooden stick to help me wedge and dislodge the sucker from the main stem. And I will try to be as um, gentle as possible. So as you can see here what I'm doing, I'm just pressing gently at the foundation of the sucker to dislodge it. And we will do it from two different sides, from this side and then from the other side. And you can hold the main crown while you're pressing to keep it steady. And then you just pull it gently and here it is we have removed this large sucker and it is fully developed with two sets of leaves and we will pot it in a little pot. I will keep the second sucker, it is still very small and I will keep it on for a little bit but not for too long because I don't want it to distort the symmetry of the main plant. So here is the place where that sucker was attached to the main stem and hopefully now that we have removed it this leaf will start growing straight and the center of the rosette will straighten up and we will get at the end a nice symmetrical rosette and I will remove the second sucker as well. So it will be a sucker free single crown plant. Once I remove the sucker I let it dry for about 10 minutes and in the meantime I prepare a two and a quarter inch pot, plastic pot with a label on it and I use electrical tape and a permanent sharpie marker to write the name of the variety and the today's date and then I just make a little indentation in the potty mix and the potty mix is 50-50 Perlite and Promix BX that had been pre-moistened and I put the sucker in gently and uh, just press a little bit the potting mix around the sucker to have it straight, positioned straight in the center and water it gently just like that and it will go into a mini greenhouse either together with the other little plants or I can put it in a separate container as long as I keep it closed and this is a very convenient plastic um, sundae cup or a dessert cup that I found on Amazon and it snaps just like that and it will be rooting in there and eventually it will grow into a a separate plant. And here is another sucker that I removed from Opera Dock trailer. So this one was from a single crown variety Max Shangri-La Serendipity and this one is from Opera Dock. And so the procedure is the same. I removed it by accident so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and pot it up and so 
we'll just position it in the center of the pot just like that and add a little water the key is not to overwater it because it might start rotting if uh, it has too much moisture so just a little watering and then it's gonna go into its own little house a mini greenhouse and we will close it with the lid <laughs> 